2021 Formula One season has been one of the most exciting, both on and off the track, the latter of which is seeing huge growth through the adoption of additive manufacturing. Today, we've got Alpine, Sauber, and Alfa Romeo making advancements off and on the racetrack with the help of 3D printing. Starting off with Alfa Romeo Racing, the Italian Swiss outfit has recently announced a partnership with AM Solutions, the Italian 3D printing subsidiary of the Rosler Group, to support the post-processing of its 3D printed race car components. Now, this partnership means that the team will receive three S1 systems from AM Solutions in an effort to bring greater automation, economic efficiency, and repeatability to its post-processing capabilities. Additive manufacturing is playing an ever-increasing role in Formula One, and every new iteration of our race cars feature more 3D printed parts, in addition to those used in other operations of the company, from the wind tunnel models to experimental parts, said Frederick Vassour, team principal at Alfa Romeo, Racing Orlin and CEO of Sauber Motorsport. AM Solutions S1 machine is an automated post-processing system designed specifically for 3D printed plastic and metal parts. The team will use them to automatically depowder and clean small to medium-sized parts for a C41 race car. By teaming up with the AM Solutions, Alfa Romeo will look to achieve further efficiency and cost benefits with its post-processing capabilities. Moving right along, we've got Sauber Engineering AG, a division of the Sauber Group, which currently operates the Alfa Romeo F1 team. They intend to establish a 3D printing business for on-demand classic car spare parts. That using their 28 years of experience from the racetrack, Sauber Engineering is now looking to set up a reverse engineering service for heritage vehicles. The venture seeks to address the worldwide demand for vintage automobile enthusiasts, where many spare parts and components are not readily available, or even available at all. The company says they can create everything, from simple plastic covers to entire metal printed gearbox housings, or even engine components. Essentially, they're capable of replacing just about anything. Now, Sauber is no stranger to additive manufacturing, having steadily integrating it into their latest Alfa Romeo F1 cars. Last season's C39 car features 143 3D printed parts, a tally that is more than doubled for their 2021 Challenger, the C41. This season's race car uses 304 printed components, which has uh, surprisingly resulted in an astounding 90% cost reduction. Guys, I'm telling ya. 3D printing is going to save loads of time and money, especially in situations like these where it's low volume production. Now these parts were printed by Additive Industries Machines at Sauber's very own Metal 3D Printing Competence Center, which houses 13 systems and yields over 22,000 parts every year. What do you think? Should we try to reverse engineer and make some new car parts for our cars here in the shop? Let us know down in the comment section down below. And some of you are actually getting featured on this channel very, very soon. Some very cool gear shifters being made out there and, uh, well, we'll get into that later. Also worth mentioning is Divergent 3D's Zinger 21C becoming the first hypercar to be built without tools. Essentially, meaning it was almost entirely 3D printed. Now, the small startup was actually one of the major driving forces behind the new SLM 12 laser NXG system that we covered last year. <sighs> it's going to be crazy the first time I see one of those puppies on the road, that's for sure. Now, moving right along, we've got Alpine making headlines with 3D systems co-launching Acura Composite PIV. PIV standing for Particle Image Velocimetry. Velocimetry. If you know how to pronounce that, leave it in the comments down below. But uh, the material is specifically designed for wind tunnel testing, which is becoming more important, but not just on the racetrack, on the road as well, for more aerodynamic and fuel efficient vehicles. Wind tunnel development is basically a 24 seven operation according to 3D Systems, and this new material is said to take less time to prepare overall, while also providing more accurate testing data. We'll get into that in a second. We've proudly collaborated with 3D Systems for many years. The deep expertise of their applications engineers and their industry-leading solutions have been an invaluable part of our innovation team, stated Pat Warner, Alpine F1 team's advanced digital manufacturing manager. It's been exciting to co-develop Acura Composite PIV and see the benefits it's bringing to our process. We produce nearly 500 parts per week for wind tunnel testing. 
Due to the material's unique optical characteristics, we're now able to collect more reliable data from our PIV systems in the wind tunnel. Very interesting. Now, when using other materials to print wind tunnel parts, there's often a time-consuming, multi-step process to get the necessary smooth finish for accurate wind tunnel testing. Accurate Composite PIV nearly eliminates this while adding in higher tensile strength, better flex modulus, and heat deflection temperatures of up to 100 Celsius. F1 has always been on the forefront of engineering technologies, with additive manufacturing playing a huge role in just about every team on the grid. McLaren has been in a four-year partnership with Stratasys since back in 2017. 3D Systems has been a longtime partner with the Enstone-based Lotus, Renault, and Alpine outfit ever since they first used their printers back in 1998. Williams Racing Team was formerly partnered with metal printer manufacturer EOS back in 2015 for a three-year partnership and is currently on a deal with Nexa 3D that was announced earlier this year. If you didn't hear about that, we got a whole video on it. There's even a few high temperature FDM applications with Peak and Ultim that we're actually not allowed to talk about uh, with one of those front running team. One of these days, guys, there's too many NDAs with our print service right now. Let me know, what team are you supporting this season and why? Leave it in the comment section down below and does it have to do with 3D printing or something else? Anyway, if you're interested in high temperature materials like Peak and Ultim or functional, stuff like carbon fiber nylon for automotive parts, hit us up on our website or give us a call. We're seeing more and more people printing automotive parts. People, not just companies. Almost daily now, literally. We get a lot of people talking to us. If that's you, we can help you find the right solution for your needs, if we carry it, even if we don't. Now, if you guys like this content, please hit that like button. If this inspired you, gave you new ideas, or helped you in any way, it really makes a difference for us. And subscribe if you want more. I I think it's something like 20% of you are subscribed. What are you waiting for? Just hit it, come on. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. I'll see you on the next video.